Super Spears Brothers. All right, we're back. Um, um, unfortunately, no, no time has passed. Um, no, we wanted, did. There hasn't been about twenty minutes. I of just want to say. To load. I just want to say that I put my son to bed. Uh, helped put my son to bed. I should say my wife did a lot of the work today. Um, uh, I and uh, my, my wife's. <laughs> Not what people think of when they think of wife if they're like say sixteen and don't know anything about wives. Um, ooh. Ooh, that was bad. I don't know if you know this, but as soon as you die, you can press a button and then it just brings up that thing right away and you can get way back into it. I have a thing where I sort of stare angrily at the screen for about thirty seconds, wallowing in my own misery. That's just sort of the way my. You're really a, a, an all-around wallower, I think. I'm kind of I'm, I'm half pig, so that's not true. <laughs> I really right. took Charlotte's Web too seriously. Um. Anyway, uh, you should have left that thing alone. Uh, the um, and so my wife's not what people think of when they think of wife if they're sixteen and a boy. Um, she is, you know, she's she's smart, and she's funny, she's she's got a uh, she's got a, a black belt in, in kung fu, and she plays cello, and you know all kinds of interesting stuff like that. Um, I did want to point out that while we were playing just now, she was literally barefoot in the kitchen ironing. She was yeah. literally ironing barefoot in the kitchen. While we play video games. Um, but luckily I was um, constantly uh, throwing out sexist comments. You just couldn't hear them on the microphone because I said them so slyly. Um, well, uh, so Blake actually can swear and uh, say racial and sub, sexist epithets. Subharmonically. Sub yeah, subharmonically. Um, <laughs> I, I'm basically I'm, I'm like constantly the, impressed by him. I'm um, basically like the the uh, dubstep of sexism. Yeah. Um, we, uh, not not counting all the dubstep, which is of sexism to begin with. Uh, not Did you that, just call all dubstep? No, no, sexist? no. But there's but there's there's a subgenre of sexist dubstep. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm somewhat dubious of your credentials. <laughs> um, you sound like my employers. That was <laughs> that was unnecessarily cruel. Um, and, but which is a good point though to point out that that not only am I misogynistic, um, with to to my loving wife who I I love dearly and and try at all times to respect and treat with dignity. <laughs> But Sorry. you're actually literally playing a game where the a woman's only role is to be tossed around like an object. And literally, an she's object. literally she has the same physics as an object. Um, she's literally run an around object. crying and then kiss you at the level. So oh, I could have sacrificed her to the god of death. <laughs> so, so bringing back uh, the, the question of what what is it that you like this game so much? I understand. Okay, so it's, oh yeah, wait, we're having a conversation. It's like. repetitive. It's repetitive, which you like, and and that's fine. But you don't obviously like everything that's repetitive. No. You don't obviously love everything that's repetitive. No. You don't obviously love everything that's repetitive. No. I think I, I, think I actually broke you, the chain you... by saying it incorrectly every single time. <laughs> also, you chastised me for almost making that joke last time. Yes. Um, so you don't obviously don't like everything that's repetitive. So, no. um, <laughs> Oh, you sacrificed in the end with all. Yeah, Callie accepted it. Uh... So apart from obviously the fact that it's free, um, and that is this well designed and fun, uh, it actually that's the end. <laughs> that's the end. The, the, the episode over. Good. We've it's well designed and fun. I, I got my degree from uh, from the international I don't know Juilliard oh God, School of of game design, and um, this is my thesis. It's bloggy. It's good and fun. Well, that's the weird thing about game design, honestly. Is like, I don't game like this game. It's well, it's bad and fun. So uh, that's the weird thing about uh, game criticism. It's good and oh, fun. Jesus, uh, is that the good because thing. the whole oh, how a game feels is yeah. such a nebulous term. Oh. Like honestly, the term is game feel, which always sounded weird to me. I think it's a. I you know what? I think it's a stupid sounding word because like I understand what they're trying to say with the word game feel. But it seems like they've come up with a term that is ex means exactly the same thing as saying the it's same good. words, but without any term attached to it. Yeah, like that, you, that's my problem with it. Is but um, I mean, I suppose if you're in game design, you have to come up with terms for for everything anyway. Otherwise, people wouldn't understand. So how are we gonna? But you can't really work on a game feel. You can improve a game feel. Yeah, you can see like it feels sloppy or feels loose. That's what that, as I was saying. That's the thing I really love about this game. Uh, aside from all the little things like the. The repeating and this this sort of the sense of adventure and killing dudes and whatever was all that's good stuff. Um, only in video games can be killing dudes be generally be said as a, all that good stuff. No, that's wrong because yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. when I was a cowboy back yeah, in the seventeenth yeah, century, yeah, 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 again with the cowboy stuff. Almost, 
It's getting worse, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. I am a ninja. Um, actually, I'm a little explored, dude. It's totally we nice. should play a game where you play a ninja. Is, uh, are there any? Um, Samurai Showdown? <laughs> Samurai Showdown. I think that actually possibly... might be a ninja. In Samurai Showdown is totally incongruous, but. By the way, we will be. Hey, yeah, let's, we will be mis avoid pronouncing any. Let's mispronounce <laughs> anything. Like that, if we saw anything, we should. But listen, we'll, don't be hating on. <laughs> what are you doing, honestly? <laughs> well, I suppose it started off as mispronunciation, then it turned out into a bad, like a really bad Jamaican accent, <laughs> and and it wasn't intended. It was just pronouncing things incorrectly. It sounds like Jamaican <laughs> accents. So and welcome to racist grumps. Um, oh, no, no, we, that? That no, awesome. no, no, we've established this. We are the super racist brothers. Right, yes. We're like the clan, but <laughs> not as well organized. And there's only two of us. charming, really. Yeah. Plus, we Get can call ball. ourselves brothers like them folk that be from other places. Okay, I'm going to stop you, Dale. <laughs> um, just in general, I just kind of want you to stop. Okay, there's another lady. Look at that, I have five. I'm going to get hit. I, I acknowledge the fact that I have health. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time I acknowledge the fact that I have health, I get hit. But to be fair, I usually walk up to people and go, who have like major disabilities and go, Hey, just so you know, I'm completely healthy, by the way. <laughs> that chair, you look like an asshole. <laughs> it's really hard not to look like an asshole when you're sitting around all day, honestly. I mean, can't they just get, like, jobs? Oh my god, there's nothing lazier than people with... with <laughs> Severe... <laughs> disability. So there's people out there who, like, are like... I've been a war veteran, I lost my legs in the war! We're just like, what a bunch of assholes! <laughs> Look at you, lady. Why can't you be more like us, sitting in chairs all day playing video games? <laughs> that's what, that's it's... what real men do. Real men sit in chairs playing video games. Or seven asses. I should stop dropping. I should stop dropping the grump references. Stop, stop, stop dropping grump. Yeah. Uh, we're not trying that hard to rip them off. We just uh, we like it's them. It's coincidental. We, we we like them. Uh, we think we, you know uh, they have their personalities. We have ours. It's, it's different enough. There's lots of people who do game shows out there. Not. <laughs> wow, game shows has a totally different meaning in this new internet age. I just realized that. Uh, no, no, it's true. It, it, consider this a less play for people who don't know how to play games and make bad jokes. Totally, unlike all other let's plays. All other let's plays. Um, I don't even understand this. People are like, no, that's not a let's play. I don't even know what the definition is. This a let's definition. play is a game where 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 whatever game you're playing, you must play along and do exactly the same motions. You are required in the let's play, if you're watching it, to get out the game and play using the exact same mo motions and movements. So if it's like a if it's like a tool assisted speed run, you have to get out your tools, um, start building a small couch. Once the couch is completed, you want to move on. Uh, uh, to, you want to do some tightening and some painting, and then when that's finished, uh, you want to add the lacquer. Now it's important when you're choosing your lacquer that you choose something that's good. See, to I was gonna have. stop you, but then I realized. Uh, I'm just gonna let you go, and then I realize I really don't want to let you go. I really don't want to let you go. See, I'm gonna have to stop you there, cause um, cause I want to. You know, normally we're not this to, week. I want to. I'm so excited. You know, they say in improv you're always supposed to say yes and, not no but. <laughs> but right. And in real life, I'm always yes and. And for some reason, when they start recording things, I'm always like, no, Blake, stop it, stop. No, oh no, God, please stop. Okay, now you know what? <laughs> we've already we've already done some slash flip from brother and brother slash flip fic in the second episode of this. This is not this is not bold. This well. is not ideal. Okay, uh, so uh, item in the chest I got earlier. Yeah. Um, crazy that little the little guy. I like by the little that. fire guy there. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really applicable general statement you can use to all kinds of things. Like, um, for example, the U.S. Senate. Oh. oh! I've got another minute of recording, I think, so I'm just gonna hold this O for the entire period. Ooh. So anyway, that chest that I got creates, you get that little eye dude uh, who makes a little beeping noise whenever you're near that uh, secret door, which leads you to a store where you can buy an item, which allows you to get to a- oh, deal. Oh, deal. Okay. Ah, ah. Which allows you to get a thing which once you die, you can you come back to life again. Which, then if you get to a certain point, you can sacrifice yourself on a little little statue. And then it'll take you into a door and you find an item that allows you, once you get another item, to open a door into the secret area filled with gold. So that's why I'm getting that chest. 
I was going to explain it all the deal, but, you know, uh, frankly, I, I didn't know of a time. You don't care, less annoying. you didn't like me at all. Um, don't say that. I mean, it's true, but don't say it. <laughs> That's so loud. I just no. want you to be quieter. <laughs> like, you're at like a 37. If you could turn it down to like maybe a zero, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm going to raise the rope and go. Oh, no, I messed it up. Okay. Uh, so next time on Super... S oh, wow, I shouldn't just rip them. That was automatic, guys. I did not do that intentionally. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll come up with our own catchphrase eventually. Good prop! <sighs>